Good morning, everyone. Today I decided that I am going to do a day in the life. I haven't done one of these for a while, so I figured I'd give you guys a glimpse into what my daily life is like. So I got up at 6.30 this morning with Jamie, and she went to work. And when she left, I got, I got to work on making videos and editing pictures, uh, not only for my thumbnails for the videos, videos that are coming out, um, but also for the wedding that I did last weekend. I was working on some of those. Um, I was preparing a PowerPoint presentation for a speech I have coming up next month. Um, just about everything that I could do, uh, I was working on this morning. Uh, it's a good time to work on that stuff before I go to the farm because we haven't gotten things moving yet. Um, whether or not we do any harvesting today, I'm not totally sure. Dad does have off. So we might try. Uh, they're calling for rain around 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, but uh, we'll see how that pans out. So since today is not a day that a video gets uploaded, I don't have to run to town and upload the video. Uh, what I often do is I run to uh, Alicia's, my sister's, and I upload my videos there because she has faster internet than I do, and the videos can be uploaded in about half an hour compared to roughly eight hours or more here. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go straight over to the farm, and I got the drone with me, and actually got it holding in my hand. Um, never know if I'm going to need it, but it's always a good idea just to bring it along just in case. So, let's go over to the farm. So with this truck, I can go over 500 miles to a tank if I'm doing a lot of consistent driving. If I do a lot of sh uh, stopping and starting, uh, it's probably much lower than that. But with this truck, the average mileage that I get, if I can find it, here somewhere. about 16 right now for the last 25 miles. For the last 400 miles, or approximately for the last tank that I use, uh, my average was 15.5. So if I do a lot of stopping and starting, like if I just drive my truck between the farms, uh, it does tend to get a little bit down lower under that 15 range, but it tends to stay right around 16. Um, if I do long distance driving without any stopping, uh, the truck averages 25 uh, and that's you know without slowing down it's just normal driving which kind of surprises me because we have pretty rolling hunt, uh, countryside here um, if on flat ground it does the best but it still does pretty good even with all the hills and stuff it doesn't really do your mileage any favors but the truck actually does better than my car <laughs> We just got done feeding calves. We're coming out to my place in the field. I'm pulling an ear right here to check the moisture because we want to try to calibrate the combine and the yield monitor for the corn. But we need to see which place we can start at. I believe that's 5806. Yes. 
Must have gone up. Beans were up 20 and corn was up three. I locked in 500 bushels of mine for 967. And it was up again today a little bit. But still, it's stupid low. Twenty six point six. Wow. Okay. This is really dry. Twenty point two. It gonna rain. So we've got the calves out of my place fed, and we went around and we checked the moisture of the corn out of my place, as well as the upper farm. We went to the upper farm and checked the bin up there to make sure that the blower was still running, to put the doors in, and to check the moisture up there. And now we're going out to my place to put a bale in for the pole shed. so sure about us. So. Food? Well, they, they bring us our food, so they can't be all that bad. We got a couple stragglers out in the back she'll have to get in yet. But... How's her foot doing? Can you tell? That's yeah. her. Still not putting a whole lot of weight on it. Honestly, if I looked at it right here and I didn't know which foot it was, you couldn't tell that she had a foot problem. Look at that. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, wow. A bunch of stuff. Come for recharge stand. We got four of these. How many mile range? Thirty-eight. How far can you get out of the 
25. Yeah. In wide open, clear space. And we got two of these. Hmm. That's cool. Yep. I am totally having flashbacks of smoking the bandit. Okay, we need to come up with cool call signs. <laughs> Who gets to be Smokey Bear? Come on, dude. Rock it. Hey, maybe we should put one of the base ones in the gator. That's probably, yeah. One in the gator, one in the combine, and then we use the actual hand walkie talkies for the trackers. I had to come back down for my camera. So we are installing the radios that Travis received from Midland Radio into the gator and into the combine. There are two base units which have three times the long or further reach than handheld radios do and um, they, I think we also received two or four handheld radios in addition to the two that we started using. So we're going to be starting to use radios more. Uh, Travis and I have been using them for uh, basically since harvest started. So it's really easy just to have two radios on you and then, well, a radio on you and then what we've been doing is I've been sitting in the tractor and then Travis has been sitting on top of the grain bin and Travis can tell you tell me whether to pull forward or move back while we're unloading from the bin and uh, filling up the grain carts because we want to get them as full as we can so that we can fill the semi as fast as we can. So we are we are working on installing one of the base units into the gator right now. They come with a little wire and um, it's a little magnet magnetic top and you just put it where you want it and then the base unit is being installed uh, kind of down by the, the shifting lever underneath the dash. So I'm gonna head up there and we've been working on mounting it and running the wiring and everything. Um, and we're not sure if we wanna hook it up to the battery or to the uh, key switch so that there's only power when the key's turned on. So uh, probably gonna hook it up to the key switch, but we'll see. And you may be able to tell it's raining pretty good now. This is the kind of weather that we've been having uh, off and on for the last week and a half now. <laughs> so there's not a whole lot else going on. Um, I got some stuff that I got to get done, especially with like photos and stuff. I got a long way to go there yet. And um, some of you may have watched the Flat Stanley video where uh, someone sent me a flat stand, which people send out. And then I actually received it from a girl and um, they wanted to show their class a little bit more about the farm life because nobody in her class is, has, really knows that much about farming. So that was the point of that video. Some people were a little confused by it, but um, yeah, that's, I just posted that earlier today actually. Uh, today is Friday and this video will be out on Sunday um, because I got a lot of pictures to edit tonight and tomorrow. And um, yeah, I just don't have, a lot of time and I'm not gonna sit and make videos just to make videos so there's not a whole lot going on around here it's kind of why I wanted to do a day in the life um, kind of helps you guys give a perspective on what all the all the different things that we may do in a day um, most of my videos are all about one thing but all too often we do just so many different things and the plan for the day just changes constantly so I'm gonna head back up and Keep on working. That's really going to echo in that cab, too. I hit call. I don't have it on this one though. Do I? No, I don't That's have a call. Right. Okay. 
gonna change my there it is. Okay, I broke it. Oh, he just wasn't holding the button long enough. You must press monitor. Oh, it must be. How do I, how do I do that? Um. You gotta read the manual. Are you are you doing that? I hope so. Copy that, Big Ben. I bet there's people listening in that's going. What? See, because what that is, that's letting me know that you're you quit transmitting instead of saying over. Yeah, it goes, yeah. 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 But I mean, like you guys can call this one. I think you have a call button. I think I saw it on the thing somewhere. Where get the book? It's this one. You can do the radio on. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do as far as channels and these things. Oh, well. That's where I'm gonna put the radio. So now it's five o'clock and we decided that the radio uh, would best go into the 7600 rather than the combine because if it's on the 7600 then we can use the this radio full time rather than just for one or two months out of the year um, then we can just have one of the regular handheld radios um, in the combine and all the other tractors so thank you to midland corporation for sending us these Re we really appreciate it um, we'll definitely actually start getting back into using radios again it's nice just to have them on all the time rather than having to pick up the phone Hey, can you do this for me? Oh, okay, bye. So with that, it's just easier just to do this. <laughs> so I got my partner in crime with me, Rocket. And I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna start working on, I'm not sure what I'm gonna start working on. Probably the pictures. Uh, I did an engagement shoot that I really need to get done. Uh, I'll probably edit this video tonight. And then uh, the weather's supposed to be crummy again tomorrow, so. We'll see, but um, I, mean, I don't know when I'm gonna, yeah, I'll probably just do this now. It's easier to do a video right away than waiting because then you remember, okay, I need to cut this out and whatever else, so. I'm gonna head home and get to work. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of Ryan Kister. Um, I'm gonna have to do a lot more of these because I mean it's hard to just describe one day in the life of me or in the life of a farmer actually just because every day is so different <laughs> so anyway thanks again for watching guys so I just checked the mailbox and I've been waiting on a check that is for the our county program up the FSA office and essentially what they look at is they compare average yields in the county against what the price did and then they determine i don't even know what percentage or anything they use or what the formula is um, but i covered this last year and i said how much farmers get paid from the government and um, i will say that the government does subsidize crop insurance which they better because if you've seen uh, the rates on crop insurance all farmers would be bankrupt if they had to pay those but um the funny thing is that i was expecting quite a large payment this year because of how many acres i ran last year uh, i ran significantly more than i did the year before and even more than what i've got i am this year and i was expecting somewhere over a thousand for this payment 
And the first year, which was last year that I got a payment for 2015, um, I got like $315. And like that's how many more, much more I was expecting for last year. Uh, but this check is for $418. <laughs> so it varies by year depending on what kind of formula they use and you know how the price performed in the spring and the fall and they compare it to see what the farmer should get and I don't know I was expecting more I will honestly say I am a little bit disappointed in how much I got uh, because of how many acres I ran and for what the price was last fall but you know whatever uh, I'm I don't expect anything off the government um, and it's just kind of like a, I don't know, I'd consider like a yearly bonus, really. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Whisper sweet nothings to me. <laughs> I said whisper sweet nothings to me. I can hear you a little bit. It's pretty good for the amount of trees that the signal has to go through.